we go. Let's see if I can get her latched in here. We'll do us a, a vid blog. And we made it to another Friday. government train station here boxcars bring in checks by to keep the wolves off you stoop there at the house it's been enlightening and it's been exciting so we'll get out of this state institute get to go home for a day or two Good time, enjoy, you know, all that stuff. People just can't drive. I don't know what else to say. Anyway, wasn't a bad day. Pretty good day. Another hundred fifty dollars or whatever it is. Yep. Still got a strange situation going on with that last dive trip. I went to Cabo. Can't get in touch with uh, anybody in Mexico. Try to straighten the bill out. Anyway, I'm going to do it when I get home. Nothing really exciting today to report on. Um, pretty much the same O. I'll think of something here in a minute to kind of subject off on. Well, I'll tell you what we're thinking about doing. Since we're just rattling and trapping and all that stuff. Uh, time of the year it is. And of course that in conjunction with a lack of a generous pocketbook. We're thinking about doing a trip that we've been talking about for years and years. If everything works out then the next month me and mama's son's thinking about driving down to uh, Nashville. Of course, we live in the Knoxville area, so we're thinking about driving to Nashville, spending a night somewhere in the proximity of, uh, oh, excuse me. I guess that would be considered the extreme southwest of downtown Nashville. Somewhere in that neighborhood down there, we're thinking about staying the night down there or we may go down and what I'm talking about is we're thinking about driving the entire length of the Natchez Trace Parkway we bought a car a year ago bought a Subaru Forester and uh, it's still in really decent shape it's got I don't know somewhere in the neighborhood of 12,000 miles on it so uh, it's in pretty good shape it rides all right gets a pretty dang good gas mileage so gas right now is running on average ballparkish dollar thirty to dollar fifty around here so we're thinking well that would be a uh, pretty nice little trip uh, we've only stayed in one or two bed and breakfasts our whole whole lives uh, I guess you'd call it one place we stayed at over in Charleston South Carolina sort of like a bed and breakfast well what we're wanting to do is stay in a bed and breakfast uh, each place that we stay along the parkway and um, we got five days. We calculated up, it's gonna run somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,200 miles round trip. That's all the way down, all the way back. Um, so that's in the plans. We haven't, uh, we haven't actually put it together yet. We've just done the basic stuff like how many miles, how much gas it'll take, and how much it would, uh, how much it costs for us to stay at these bed and breakfasts. Some of them have a full breakfast included in your overnight stay, and uh, well, there's a few that don't. So if we can at all, I'd like to stay at the ones that provide you a full breakfast the next morning. So anyway, kind of look forward to that. That's one thing we can talk about a little bit. Natchez Trey's got some great history, great uh, Civil War history. I've always enjoyed Civil War history. And uh, 
life's just ready to go. So uh, I think we're going to probably try to do that five days, 1,200 miles. We calculated it up, and basically it's about 240 miles a day. You know, some days we can drive a little more than that. Some days you can drive a little less than that. I, I definitely want to have it to where we'll have enough uh, time on our schedule to where we can actually do a little sightseeing along the way. I don't want to just go out and drive nonstop five days, of course. I mean, you know, I don't think anybody wants to do that. Good Lord. So, I mean, you know, we might have to rethink it. We ain't scheduled it yet. We're still uh, researching it, if you will. And uh, anyway, on another subject, look forward to getting home this afternoon and uh, do a radio station, Southern Branch Bluegrass. It's uh, www.sbbradio.net. And locally, it's on 98.1 FM. It's a very low power FM. And uh, I couldn't tell you how many listeners that we've got locally, but getting ready to extend the antenna range been doing a uh, a winter holiday splash slash excuse me slash uh, spring and I know it's a little early for that but spring fundraiser and we, how we've been doing that is different ways we've been uh, selling CDs that artists have sent us over the years or we've actually went out and bought ourselves at festivals and concerts anyway we've been selling those and raising some money there and it also gives other people the opportunity to be able to listen to those CDs that get them. Uh, I got anything from Southern Gospel to Bluegrass Gospel to Bluegrass to Traditional Bluegrass. Uh, got some collector CDs and stuff like that I just won't let go of. Uh, just had an outfit out of uh, Wisconsin. Uh, literally manufactured specifically and especially for the station Southern Branch Bluegrass uh, had them to uh, <coughs> actually make me 48 cups and there's uh, four different sets and each set is a different color and style so anyway I am uh, just got those uh, recently we've got them on the web page and stuff and and of course you can find us through two different ways to get to our web page. One of them is uh, www.southernbranchbluegrass, all one word, .us. The other one, of course, like I said, is www.sbbradio.net. You can also just uh, go to eBay and uh, put my name in or put Southern Branch Bluegrass in. You can find the CDs, you can find the coffee mugs and all that stuff and give you an opportunity to help us to raise money to extend our FM range. And then of course I do that Sunday program which I just absolutely adore myself. It's a, an all gospel, anywhere from traditional bluegrass, traditional gospel, uh, Southern gospel, bluegrass gospel. If you'll notice, gospel's in the title of all these songs or at least the genre of the songs so I literally uh, love doing that program I mean it's literally my ministry and absolutely love doing it got a new show coming up too just because uh, it mixes it up a little bit I'm going to do a show called Back in the Day it starts March the 5th and uh, it's going to air at 10 a.m. on Saturdays and 10 p.m. on Saturday nights it's going to feature music that uh, we typically don't play, of course, on the Bluegrass Station, but it's uh, it's going to go all the way back pretty much to the 60s and uh, 70s uh, music, and it's classic music. It's, uh, it's pop music that was actually literally pop back in the day, uh, some classic rock, uh, no real hard stuff, no heavy metal, none of that stuff. It's basically what... I guess kids may refer to now as, you know, uh, I guess adult listening or uh, something along those lines. I don't know. But, you know, classic music that was extremely popular back in the day. Uh, a lot of stuff from the Vietnam era. I, I like doing that on the show. 
uh, anything to, to do with that uh, era and time, you know. There's going to be a few Rolling Stones tunes mixed in. Uh, a lot of Creedence Clearwater Revival. Uh, that that kind of stuff. Even the Commodores. Uh, just anything that was really uh, pretty much going on back in the uh, 60s and 70s more than anything. But uh, it's stuff that I used to uh, try to learn how to play. Some of it I learned halfway how to play and sing a little bit. So anyway, I've still got a little bit of a soft spot for that time uh, frame of music. So uh, that's starting up, like I said, March the 5th, and it's going to be every Saturday. So uh, we're going to try to do a couple of uh, recorded shows this weekend to uh, be able to play when it comes time. We schedule those, you know. You, you can you can uh, you can record them now. I have a way to record those digitally. They come out sounding really really good. And then of course we've got a podcast now that we use. It's a SoundCloud. SoundCloud is a, a very high quality, very high quality way to to uh, podcast your music. And I'm also going to try to start a new program this weekend. I'm, I've been wanting to do. Well, I may, may experiment with it before I actually announce it as being official. I'm wanting to do Prairie Home Companion. Uh, I'm not really sure how that's going to fit into the station, but still, yet I like it. Uh, if you don't know about Prairie Home Companion, you ought to Google that up and check it out and see what you think. Uh, I've known about it quite some time. There's even been movies made about it. And uh, they do a lot of skits. You know, it's kind of like drama, skits, and sort of comedy all rolled into one. And then they actually have groups that uh, will, will actually provide music. Like I think, uh, let's see, I can't think of the name of the group that's, uh, that's going to be on this week. But anyway, they recently had uh, Paul Simon uh, on uh, early February. This is mid, uh, mid to late February now. I was looking today and they had some Paul Simon stuff on early February stuff. I think it was the Fe February the 6th show. And uh, you can actually watch this show live too. They broadcast this show live on YouTube. Same way I do my shows on Sunday mornings. I do the Appalachian Sunday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern. And uh, you can actually get on YouTube and uh, watch the show live. Now, of course, we've got a space on our homepage, either homepage you go to, whether it's uh, S SBB Radio or Southern Branch Bluegrass. Uh, you can go to either one of those and scroll down, and uh, there's a box there. It looks like a little old TV, and uh, you can go down and click on that if you've got enough bandwidth. You know, you've got a, a fast enough... Uh, internet provider and you've got a fast enough modem router set up you can actually watch our show from the studio live which I, I enjoy doing that you get to see my old sleepy head and all that stuff and you know I dressed up for it at Christmas a little bit I actually put a collared shirt on <laughs> and we're continuing to work on the studio to try to make it more cozy and comfortable and more appealing to the sound and more appealing to uh, the uh, folks that are watching it on YouTube. So anyway, that's our bid block. Uh, this, uh, if you're kind of tuning in late on this thing, we're doing a ride home from work. It's Friday afternoon, February the 18th of 2016. And it's nice weather, man. It's 69 degrees. We've been uh, having all kinds of niceness weather. We've been having anything from snow to sleet to a lot of rain. Everything's just, you know, the ground's pretty much pudge soaked. But uh, 69 degrees right now, and uh, I'm not sure what time, but tomorrow it's supposed to start raining and rain off and on for some craziness, like off and on for five days. So anyway, I don't really look forward to that, but it is what it is. But let's enjoy what we got to look at today. Amanda, I look forward to getting that uh, radio station, that FM out. We're going to take that uh, right now. We're only, our antenna, which is a very high quality antenna, we had it built in Michigan and uh, shipped down here. 
to the Knox area. And uh, it's actually a very high quality antenna, but the thing with FM and the thing with this antenna is I've only got it about 14 foot, maybe 12 foot off the ground. We live in a hilly area and uh, there's actually a, 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 a software program or an app, I forget which one we use now, but my webmaster helped me with this. We tried to figure out what is the best height for the antenna to be with all the uh, surrounding areas involved and all that mess. Well, about, about 35 foot in the air is the sweet spot. So we're getting ready to erect. We're gonna use one and a quarter inch rigid galvanized hard wall or thick wall conduit. And I'm gonna get some help, of course. So we're gonna, we're gonna put three 10 foot sticks that conduit together then the antenna itself is somewhere in the neighborhood of four foot to six foot. I can't remember now. Anyway, we're going to get that puppy up there to around the sweet spot. So we ought to be able to get 50 to 60 mile radius out of that thing, which will just be wonderful. Uh, I'll be able to broadcast so much farther. It'll sound so much clearer. And uh, of course, look forward to that tremendously. I really do. And uh, we're going to start trying to do these uh, rain or shine. We're going to try to start doing these uh, vid bogs every day, twice a day, morning and night. And uh, we'll upload these and we'll, we'll uh, make a channel for them. And you can just go to the YouTube uh, homepage, whatever you call it there. And... Uh, be able to take a look at these get a kick out of them all that stuff hopefully everybody's going to enjoy these i'll try to i'll try to get better as i go um you know right now the big talk is uh the uh presidential uh race going on democratically of course we got cankles and uh we got uh and all the other fella what is his name bernie sanders and then left over on the repub side, we got uh, Carson. Uh, let's see, we got Ted Cruz, we got Marco Rubio. Uh, let's see, who else? We, oh, Trump. Can't can't forget old Donald Thump. 